I'm joined here by the Contravenes, um, Leeds based indie rock band, uh, been going around a year now. Um, lads, thanks for taking the time out to have a quick chat. Thank um, you. How did you get together as a band? Um, basically, I met up with these two who I've known for years and we started like just rehearsing in a nearby studio near us and yeah we we had i had songs sean had songs yeah it was something we'd, we'd spoke about it for a while yeah. before it actually happened we'd been saying it'd be good to do something together and then ended up happening and <coughs> so i got involved we just needed the, yeah the final piece in the puzzle we needed a bass player and i'd never i've never played bass before or like that and it says oh we need this bass player and that's so, I'm not really a bass player, so I went down anyway and uh, tried it. Our kid had a bass, I put his bass on and that, and it just went from there really. Just felt comfortable with it, could play along to a few tunes and that, and just sort of fell in line with it. We all got on, we all tunes fell into place and that, and it just went from there really. So, Carried on. Yeah, it was sound, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, kept going. Well, you don't play covers uh, and only produce your own material. Well, why is that important to you? Um, I think, like I, I don't know, you don't, I don't think you really remember the band that did that really good Rolling Stones cover when you saw them live that one time, maybe. <laughs> yeah. So like I don't know, we it's not something we consciously did, I don't think, but we sort of we had enough material to do a gig full of us own material. We just enjoyed playing our own tunes, yeah. didn't we? You know what yeah. I mean? We, we enjoyed playing our own tunes and we played them live to people and people liked them. So, you know, we, we just carried on doing it. I think like yeah. Sean said, we had that much abundance in our own material that there were no room for any kind of extra cover or anything like that, so. That's excellent. So, how does the songwriting process work for you as a band? Because you touched on that a minute ago, but tell us a little bit more. Um, usually it's, at the minute it's one of mine or Sean's, we'll, Write, I write on an acoustic anyway and just bring it in and then these lot change it into what it is. We all have a, we all have a saying. So when it comes it, to rehearsals, it, we all kind of piece bits around. Yeah, yeah it's, it's mm. written. That's when me and Craig come into Written as a collective anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll sort of do the lyrics. Like We've done a couple together and uh, we've done stuff on his own and we'll uh, sort of get in touch with each other and say, oh, what do you think about this? And then we'll take it to everyone as a band and we'll... It becomes a full thing by then. Yeah. We've just done two new tracks today in Two Fly Studios with Alan Smythe. Here's a clip. <laughs> it's on you, bro. <laughs> you can't beat the rush and adrenaline of playing a live gig. You just you just can't beat that. But you can't beat hanging around Nick's studio and <laughs> laying tracks down. I think when you, know you, know you I mean? and when hearing got, your songs, when you've got somebody like Alan Smythe kind of producing you, who's been in the biz for years, it's kind of a it's it's it gives it that little bit. Of a rush itself, just knowing that he's taking over and doing what he's behind the wheels. It's yeah. it's just I love playing live I like every band. Um, the like Craig said, the adrenaline. But to hear you something that were formed at the end of your bed playing come to life, I think that's I think a that's massive the starting joy. point. Isn't it? And yeah. then when you're able to put it out to everybody, yeah, and play it, then it's that's a joy. Like the, it's yeah. definitely a joy. It's like the yeah. cherry on top. I think I think for me personally, like I, it's great being in studio. It's great playing live. But I think the best thing about it is sort of when you've got a new song, and the first time you play that one song live, that beats everything. I think yeah. that's the best. That's the best one thing about it all. As yeah. soon as that one person tells you, I yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Your agree. new song like that. It's worked. That's the one. <laughs> Excellent. So, what's next for you? <laughs> Excellent question. <laughs> <laughs> you tell us. The, uh, I think going on from today, 
get them out there, see how they're taken, and uh, ask Gigging. us in a year, I guess. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Gigging more. Definitely getting these songs out there to a crowd further, I guess. Yeah, um, we want we want we want everybody to hear them. Like any other band, we want them to hear our tunes. Just get, getting our name out there. Like, we've we've had a great year up to now. We've we've had a great year. We've been gigging. We've got our name out yeah. there. It's our second year going now, but and this is like just just more of that, yeah. really. More good shows. We've been involved in good shows this year, and more good shows. Getting our name out there and just you know just spreading the word. So yeah. just more of that, really. He should come for his dance moves anyway. Yeah, you know, I don't you know. You know, it is what it is. The knee bend. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The knee bend. If, if you want to come and check it out, I've incorporated <laughs> the knee bend a few times. <laughs> Let's get the hips out. Yeah, yeah I do get like the hips out. Yeah. It is the hips. Yeah, the you've, the got, hips, you've got yeah, to do that. The hand in the air. Just come accustomed with it. You know, definitely come and just come and see the new tunes that we're doing because we've got a good feeling about them. Lovely. Thanks a lot, lads. Cheers. Cheers. No, Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.